Today, I'm gonna do a very different type of comparison. Two Notes versus Kemper versus Firehawk. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, Happy New Year. I'm back in the studio and over the holidays, I started thinking what would be an interesting different type of comparison to do in the studio. So I decided I'm gonna take three very different ways of recording guitar and write a song or at least a part of a song and see how it comes out. So today we're gonna do my two notes with my 5150 Iconic, which if you combine them together, you're looking at like $1,600 worth of gear versus my Kemper, which is like $1,800, $2,000 versus what I used to use, which is my Line 6 Firehawk. It's a modeler. It's good for doing scratch tracks and just jamming, but that's only like 400 bucks. So I'm gonna write the same measure, couple of bars, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do separate tracks of each, and let's see which one sounds the best. Let's get into it. So I'm a bit confused. This challenge did not turn out at all how I imagined it would. I honestly felt like there was gonna be a clear cut winner and be like, oh yeah, that's that's my tone. That's the tone that I love. But I found that every tone had something that I like about it. Even the Firehawk being such an inexpensive tone. So what that does is it just reinforces what I really believe in terms of how guitars should be recorded. It should not be just one tone. It should be multiple, even if it's just two, two, three, four guitar tones blended to make the perfect sound. So now that I played those three for you all, what I did is I took the mix and I took all three guitars and I made that 30 second clip or however long it is with a blend of all three guitars. So you can see that if it's properly blended, it'll make a song sound so much better than just one single tone all the way through. As a matter of fact, I'll even go as far as to change certain tones, bring in certain tones during a chorus, certain tones during a, a verse. And a lot of that is also dependent on the pen. So for the first three that you heard, the pens are just straight right, straight. Uh, your right, my left. No, no, your right your left, my right, my left, just so you can hear the bass is the same, it's down the middle, but for the final blend, I'm gonna have different pans depending on the certain tone. So for example, the two notes I've noticed was a lot more bassy than the other guitars. The Kemper was the thinnest. It's weird because the Firehawk was kind of a nice little blend mix. 
So I'm going to pan according to the bassiness, I guess you can say. So again, I was really shocked with how this turned out, but I'm really happy because it really drives home what I believe a guitar in the studio needs, which is a blending of tones, different mics, different cabinets, different panning, different guitars. If you can just find that sweet spot, you can make some really unique and really good sounding guitars. It doesn't matter, Not even doesn't even have to be heavy like this. I did heavy guitars just because, well, it's more fun for me. It's all about taking the time to do different guitar takes and taking the time to mix them properly and you can get an amazing tone for your song. So if you enjoyed this comparison, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends. Let me know in the comments what other comparisons you would like me to do. So thank you guys so much for watching and you'll see me next time. Bye.